Okay, this is Pinkalicious, starring Raylan and Ashley. Okay. It was a rainy day, too wet to go outside. Mommy said, let's make cupcakes. What color do you want? Pink, pink, pink. Mommy put in some pink. Mooey, mooey, mooey. I gobbled up a couple of cupcakes while Mommy and I frosted them. They were so yummy. They were pink delicious. I offered one to Peter, my little brother, but he is very picky and didn't want to eat his, so I ate it. Feed mommy. Can I please have more? You get what you get and you don't get upset, mommy said. <clears throat> but I got very upset. <clears throat> After dinner, I ate more cupcakes. Then I refused to go to bed. I, can I just have one more? Daddy waved a tired finger at me. You have had enough. The next morning, I was pink. My belly was pink, my face was pink, and my hair was a color of raspberry. Daddy thought, thought I had played with markers, good. so he gave me a bath. bath. <laughs> I'll just leave it. That one. <laughs> the pink did not come off. The pink did not come off. My hair was the color of raspberry. I cried because I was so beautiful. I even had pink tears. I put on my pink fairy dress and twirled in front of the mirror. <laughs> While mommy speed dialed the pediatrician. I'm Pinkabelle. Mommy grabbed her purse. Just one more pink cupcake. Just one more pink cupcake. I yelled on the way out of the door. Mommy took me right to the doctor's office. Dr. Wink looked at me and said, you have a very rare and acute case of pink otitis. I guess that's not the worst thing that could happen. Uh, look at me, I peek a Then Dr. Wink said, for the next week, no more pink cupcakes, pink bubblegum, or pink cotton candy. Boom. To return to normal, you must eat a steady diet of green food. Yeah. On the way home, we stopped at the playground. My friend Allison was there. But she didn't see me because I blended in with the pink flowers. When I waved to Allison, a bumblebee landed on my nose. Buzz off! I got a flower! Soon I was surrounded by bees, butterflies, and birds. Mommy, please take me home. When we left the playground, I asked Mommy, Can I have one more cupcake? Don't you remember what the doctor told you? No more cupcakes. <laughs> Peter tugged at my pigtails. I wish I were pink like you, he said. He was green with envy. That night, I pretended to eat my dinner of mushy, dark green vegetables. After everybody went to sleep, I sneaked into the kitchen, climbed onto a chair, and reached to my tippy toes to the top of the refrigerator where mommy had hidden the cupcakes. I took just one more pink cupcake and ate it. Then I licked the pink cupcake wrapper clean. When I woke up in the morning, I felt different. I ran to the mirror and peered at my reflection. I was a deep, different pink than a deeper pink than I had ever seen. In fact, I was no longer pink. I was red. Not red. I didn't want to be red. I should not have eaten the pink cupcake last night. 
I wanted to be myself again. I knew what I had to do. I opened the fridge. Held my nose and squeezed the bottle of icky relish onto my tongue. I ate pickles and spinach, olives and okra. I choked down artichokes and gagged on grapes and burst up Brussels sprouts. Next thing I knew, my arms tingled, my ears tingled, and my feet twitched. I would no longer red. I would no longer pink. I want me. Beautiful. So what happened to the rest of the cupcakes, Pinkalicious? Daddy asked. Just then, Peter ran in and yelled. <laughs>